In the Bible we find num a number of names that the Jews used to describe the many qualities of God. And this morning we're speaking about Jehovah Jireh, which is a name that Abraham gave to God in Genesis 22:14, when God provided a ram to be sacrificed in place of his son Isaac. Jehovah Jireh was the name which means the Lord will provide or the Lord sees. However, time doesn't allow me to go into the camp by now, so why don't you read it for yourselves afterwards, starting from Genesis 22. The name Jehovah Jireh only appears once in the Bible, which really is amazing because it's one of the most common names what we know of God. And a lot of people think of Jehovah Jireh, but it's not, it's Jehovah Jireh. And God provides for his people. So I'm pleased to tell you that Jehovah Jireh is not the Lord did provide, but the Lord will provide. In other words, the name doesn't simply honour a past event, it anticipates a future action. And I'm sure those who are listening to this devotion can testify to the fact that God has intervened in their lives on many occasions to provide for them when they couldn't do it otherwise. Think about the air that we breathe, the food in the kitchen cupboard, some meat in the fridge and the fruit on the table, all are gifts from God. Your health, your friends, your family, your church, your eyes, your ears, your taste buds, all are gifts from God. Your life on earth and eternal life is a gift from God. The mere fact that I was born was a gift from God. But the greatest gift that God has ever given to the world must be his only begotten son, Jesus, who came on the earth as a baby. He came as a baby and he walked as a man and he died as a man. And because of that fact, we have a, a connection with God that was broken right in the beginning of the Bible in Genesis. So now we can commune with God and we can speak to God. We don't have to go through into the Holy of Holies because it says that the, the, the curtain was rent right the way from the bottom. And now we can go to God and it's a wonderful thing. Here are just too many scriptures that speak of our Jehovah Jireh. The first one I've chosen is Isaiah 40 verse 29. And it says this, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. That's absolutely amazing when we come to think about that God gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. And maybe this morning you're sitting listening to this or watching this and you're feeling pretty weak, you might be feeling sick. Why don't you apply this verse to yourself, apply it to your life. And the other one is the Apostle Paul in Philippians 4 verse 9. My God will meet all your needs according to his riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. You know, our God is no man's debtor. He looks after his children like a shepherd would look after his sheep. No, no one, not nobody goes unnoticed. So in finishing, I'd like to refer back to the many names of God and the names that describe his character. I just want you to ponder about what name would you have if, with your character? What if the people in the church had to put a name on you, a, a name tag on you, depicting your character? I know Stuart Capel and I, we've been called quite a few names in our time in the church. One is Tweedledum and Tweedledee. And Pastor Edwin has even been known to call us the Chuckle Brothers. This I hope is because we like to see the fun side of life. I wonder how many of you can remember the Mr. Men, the Mr. Men books. They give names to the characters that, in, in a word, it, it was spot on. Think about Mr. Grump, Grumpy and Mr. Avalot and then Mrs. Always Late and Mrs. Talk A Lot and Mr. Miserable. I wonder what name, what Mr. or Mrs. you would be. It's important to think that, you know, people look at us and they put names to us that depict our character. And sometimes, you know, I heard a little girl saying about somebody and says, you know, that lady next door, she's ever so miserable, she is. So I suppose they'd be calling her Mrs. Miserable or Mrs. Grumpy. I want us to be Mr. Happy, Mr. Faithful, Mr. Encourager, so that when we go out in the world, people will see that we are Jesus, that we with Jesus, and Jesus is in us, and we can go as ambassadors for the Lord. So I just pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you, that his face may shine upon you, that you may have a good day, and remember, People are looking at you. People are wondering. And they put in names to your character. That would be a good name. Thank you very much. Bye.